Hey guys, this is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. So today we are going to learn about the how to run our testing test scripts with the help of the Maven uh, Maven uh, command line. Okay, this is very very important term, guys, and uh, this is also important interview question. How basically we can able to run our test scripts through the Maven command line. Okay, so guys, listen carefully. Whenever we want to run our test scripts with the help of the Maven command line. Compulsory, we have to add the one of the plugin which is named as a Maven Surefire plugin. We have to add, and with the help of that plugin, we can able to with the help of that plugin, guys, we can able to we can able to perform what guys we can able to uh, we can able to uh, we can able to run our test case with the help of the command Maven line command line. So you can see, guys, I'm just searching over here Maven uh, Surefire plugin, okay? And you can see uh, if I'm going to search on the Google, you can able to land it on the Official websites of the Apache Maven, and if you looked at over here, you can see all in detail information. Basically, they provide over here with an example. Now, if I'm going to open this example, now I want to run my test case, test ng test cases. I want to run. So, if I'm going to open here uh, using uh, test ng uh, test ng, so you can see guys, the, the the all feature basically they provided. They provided the dependencies as well. Okay. And even you can see these are the different different dependencies. Basically, they divide provided over here. And if you want to add that, if you want to run the test cases with the help of the XML file, you can able to copy these dependencies as well. You can copy this plugin as well. You can able to either you can able to add a dependency or you can able to add the uh, uh, or you can able to add the plugins over here. So what exactly I'm trying to do, guys? I'm simply copying the plugin over here. What exactly I'm trying to do, guys? I'm simply copying the plugin over here, and once I copy the plugin, I'm, I'm quickly opening my uh, form.xml file. And remember, guys, where we have to add this this uh, this thing, compulsory we need to add the uh, outside of the dependencies. This plugin we have to add the outside of the dependencies. Right now, I'm commented out this. I'm just removing this part, and you can see, guys, this is the by default plugin. Basically, we have. You can see this is a version by default plugin we have. And once this is done, you can see, guys, I'm I'm getting an option over here. Uh, you can see I'm getting an option over here. Like we need to uh, reload this thing, okay? So once I'm clicking the reload over here, you can see my dependencies are automatically downloading over here. You can see my Maven Surefire plugin dependencies are automatically downloaded over here. And once the downloading is done, now we can able to run our test cases. So suppose we have a what is earlier report example. This is a uh, the, this is a class we have. And in this class, we have a three different different test cases: test case one, test case two, test case three. Okay. Now, what exactly we want to do, guys? I want to run the class. What I want to do, guys? I want to run this specific class. So, how to run, guys? So simple. You have to open this uh, terminal over here. And once you open this terminal, you have to write down the command m e m e v n command. We have to write down and we run test hyphen d test. This is the syntax we have is equal to Whatever class name we are having, just copy that class name and just paste it that class name over here. Once this is done, if I'm going to press enter over here, you can see guys what exactly happened. See guys, my test cases are uh, failed over here. You can see straightforward my test cases are failing over here because of whatever command basically I fired over here. You can see I I gave the space over here. So always remember whenever you are going to write down the Maven command, you should not able to write down. You should not give any space over here. And if I'm pressing enter over here, you can see guys. Whatever test cases exist in this class, your all test cases are running over here. You can see one by one your test cases are going to run and open. So this is how basically we can able to run the particular class with the help of the with the help of this Maven command. Okay. So whatever test cases we are having, you can able to run the all test cases over here. Now once this is done, now once this is done, now what is the next, guys? Suppose if you want to now uh, once once you are done with this thing, now if you want to run the particular test case, now you can see in this. In this class, I want to run only one test case, which is name as a test case one. So, so, so can we able to run this term? Yes, guys, we can able to run. What we have to do only after after this command, you have to provide the hash over here. After this command, you have to provide the hash over here. And whatever test case you are having, test case two, I am giving over here. So this test case I am going to execute, which is going to open the what what it is going to open, guys. Uh, uh, it is going to open the Google.com, right, guys. So if I'm going to run my program, you can see, guys, I can able to run my program, and only test case two is going to execute over here. Not a test case, not all test cases are going to execute. You can see, guys, your Google uh, website is going to open over here, and you can see how many tests are run. Only one test case are run. Previously, whatever uh, test case, uh, previously whatever class we run over here, you can see, guys, 
if uh, whatever test uh, class we run over here if you looked at over here you can see guys only uh, you can see clear uh, clearly result we are having so let me quickly scroll down just give me a minute you can see previously once i run the complete class so all three test cases are run over here but now if i gave if i'm running only one test case over here you can see guys only one test case are run over here this is how basically we can able to run the this is how basically we can able to run the only one test case so suppose if you want to run the multiple test cases within a class i don't want to run the all case, all 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 test method but only i want to run two methods over there so what we have to do guys simple we have to you have to use the same command over here you have to provide the plus symbol and then whatever test case test method name you are having that method name you have to give test case tree i am giving over here you can see this method name i am giving over here and if i am pressing enter over here you can see guys your test case 2 and test case 3 is going to execute over here your test case 2 and test case 3 is going to execute over here you can see you can see and this is another website is going to open which is named as a flip card you can see and uh, how many test cases are run over here two tests are run over here so this is how basically we can able to run the particular class as well and we can able to run the particular uh, test method as well with the help of the maven once command once we are done with this thing guys now we are going to learn about what we are going to learn guys how to how to run our all test cases so suppose guys whenever we want to run our all test cases simple we have to use uh, which command mvn command we have to use okay, sorry my bad mvn command and test command we have to use so with the help of this term we can able to run the all all test cases so right now how many test cases we are having in this alivar report example in this test engine class we have three three test cases you can see test case one test case two and test case three we are having and this is a java class we have this is a selim example class we have so you can see this is not a test engine class we have and this is another test engine class we have and which, which contain the two test cases only okay it means total five test cases we have in our project but you can see guys when when i am using the mvn uh, mvn test command you can see guys only two test car test cases are executed over here only how many test cases are executed over here guys only two test cases are executed over here ideally here uh, ideally we should we should be executed the five test cases over here so why it is not executing because of guys we need to add the configuration over here what configuration we need to add you can see guys i'm just copying and pasting over here the configuration so this is the configuration you must need to add over here okay this is the configuration we must need to add so what is the meaning of this configuration star dot star if you if you looked at over here on the on the official website of the uh, uh, maven so if you looked at the uh, star dot star meaning you can see if you looked at the meaning over here so the meaning of the star dot star it means guys uh, all all whatever classes we have all classes we need to include over here so this is a configuration we have to add and once you con once you are done with the once you are done with this configuration adding adding part what we have to do guys we have to again i am going to fire this command mvn test and if i am going to fire this command you can look over here guys my test cases are going to run successfully and total all five test cases are going to execute over here now okay you can see So all five test cases are going to execute over here. You can see this. This is what exactly I want to tell you. So this is this is the configuration basically we needed over here. And you can see the complete result also going to print over here. How many tests are run? Five tests are run. How many tests are failed? Oh, zero. So this is the basic result of uh, shown by the Bavin. Okay, and this is the thing basically I want to tell you. And this is how basically we can able to run our test case through the Maven command line. Okay, that's it for today, guys. Thanks. Thank you.